Bobcats got off to a slow start on Thursday. They actually trailed by four at the half, but in the second half, the Bobcats stepped on the gas pedal and came away with a big victory over Purdue Northwest. The Bobcats went to the locker room down 40 to 36 and were also outshot and outrebounded by the Pride. Overall, it wasn't the prettiest half for Ohio. You know, we, we, we really knew what we had to do. Coach Bowles didn't come in yelling at us. Uh, like, we, we, we knew as a collective group what we needed to do, and we came out with a lot of energy in the second half. You know, I thought we might be a little sluggish with finals going on. You know, we tested this morning at 7.15 a.m. And, uh, you know, not your normal game day routine. Uh, we had a couple guys that had, you know, final before shoot around. So, was kind of expecting it. And, you know, I think it's always good to face some adversity and see how you guys respond. Ohio came out of the locker room with more energy and took over the ball game in the second half. After having just one three-pointer in the first half, the Bobcats had five in the second half. Coming off the bench, Miles Brown made a big impact for the Bobcats with nine points and was also key on the defensive side. Well, we knew for this game we were going to have to create our own energy. It was a short turnaround from our previous game, and coming into this game, there's not a lot of fans, so we knew we were going to have to generate our own energy and me coming off the bench, that's what I kind of do on defense. I set the tone on defense coming in the game and that's exactly what I did today. You know, it was probably the difference in the game from an energy standpoint, effort standpoint, and really turned the tide uh, defensively. Um, thought it was a tail two halves. I thought they dictated the first half and I thought we dictated the second half. Ohio is back in action on Sunday when it makes a trip down to Huntington to take on the Marshall Thundering Herd.